Hello, my lieben Freude, was geht, was geht, was ist, was ist, guten Abend, guten Tag. Es ist dein Lieblings-YouTuber James Bray und ich reagiere heute auf the German Refugee Crisis of 1989. We're going to be diving those deep into this thing. This is one of the recommendations that I had in the Discord server. So if you guys feel like joining and dropping some links for your boy to check out, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, we post videos every single day, so you guys will never have a dull moment here in um you know the the community and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and dive nose deep into this thing if you guys are new to the con to this channel you know what i'm saying to this channel feel coming if you guys return to the we'll come to real business every single day on the end of all i guys all i ask is that you guys abonne a decent canal and like the video bitte feeling lieben dank for oil would you stuck so that's what do you feel um Let's dive nose deep into this thing and see exactly what we're working with, man. Because from what I've heard, there's been several waves of quote unquote refugee crises in Germany over the over the, the, the last like few decades, actually. It's got to be at least the last three or four decades. But um, I mean, we have the same thing um, in other countries as well. But I'm curious about this. So, uh, low skates, low skates. <laughs> East German, and it's the summer of 1989. Where do you go on holiday? Why, Hungary, of course. And not just for the culture, deep fried food, or lack of viable alternatives. Wait a minute, Hungary has deep fried food? Is that what they specialize in? That's cool. But also for one other key attraction, Austria. Austria. Let's rewind a bit. Wait. Earlier that year, gentle reforms by the Hungarian government had begun. The most important of which, for our purposes, was the removal of the fencing between Hungary and Austria. Oh, I didn't even know that there was a, a fencing put up between Hungary and Austria. What? So that was like their version of border control? The Hungarian government ensured that this act was made as public as possible, having electric fencing purposefully removed in front of Western film crews, and began allowing travel across the border after decades of having Western Europe completely locked off. And they even hosted a picnic to celebrate. Now you may at this point be wondering why the Soviet Union wasn't going for its usual Oh my god. This edits bro are hilarious. Well, less than peaceful response to military intervention. Well, that's because the Soviets, under the leadership of Mikhail Gorbachev, were operating under the wonderfully named Sinatra Doctrine, which Sinatra Doctrine? We well, dude I can't help it, but whenever I think of Sinatra, I think of Frank Sinatra, dude. The um, they the, the had them classic bangers back in the day. The stance of allowing Warsaw Pact members to do it their way and make their own futures. So, whilst the Soviets weren't happy, they weren't going to intervene either. Hmm. This left Hungary by themselves, and by September, the Iron Curtain had fully come down around them, which yeah. sparked thousands of East Germans packing their trabants and flooding to the gap. Yeah. After losing over 30,000 citizens, East German leader Erich Honecker realized the unfolding disaster and swiftly put an end to it by banning all travel to Hungary. Wow, that's petty, bro. Problem was, the citizens were already pretty psyched to be heading to the west, so rather than just giving up and going home, they turned their sights instead to Czechoslovakia. Dang, they were not trying to go back to Germany, bro. That's crazy. Although Czechoslovakia didn't actually have an open border to the west. So was East Germany's government so garbage at the time? Like everybody just wanted to leave and bounce out of there? Like that's what it seems like. People are like, oh, no, 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 no. We are not. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not keeping us here. We are going somewhere else. We are going somewhere else. That's what it seems like. There was still a way to get there. And that was through the West German embassies. The embassy in Prague, amongst others, became the scene of GDR citizens scaling the walls to take refuge inside and demanding passage to the west. This had been happening on and off for a few years now, and mm. normally the refugees were granted emergency accommodation within the embassy building. But as the number of refugees grew over the course of the month to almost 4,000 people, 4,000, good lord, German Red Cross had to begin providing emergency supplies such as food, water, toilets, and beds in the embassy gardens. With so many people crammed into this small space, it quickly turned to mud, resembling other humanitarian crisis zones, such as yeah. Glastonbury. Blockades eventually prevented cars from getting too close to the embassy, with both uniformed and plainclothed officers patrolling around the clock in an attempt to stop further would-be refugees. Mm -hmm. As a result, 
Streets were lined with abandoned trabbies. In fact, here are just some which were covered by the Stasi. Jesus. And people got creative with their escape attempts, such as giving their luggage to Prague citizens so they could approach without suspicion and have it thrown over the wall later. Wow. These actions are remembered today through this trabby sculpture in the embassy gardens and this luggage which was never claimed. Hmm. Towards the end of September, after long negotiations, an agreement was finally made between the West and the East to have the refugees be stripped of their East German citizenship and sent across the border to the West. Wait a minute. Hold on. Repeat that. I'm confused. Finally made between the West and the East. To okay, so the East and the West of Germany finally made a pact to do what again? The refugees be stripped of their East German citizenship. So, okay. The refugees got stripped of their East German citizenship and they were able to go to West Germany. Is that a loophole that some East Germans took to go into West Germany? And sent across the border to the West. After hours of rumors of a breakthrough, on September 30th, West German Foreign Minister Hans Dietrich Genscher addressed the crowds of refugees from the balcony of the embassy hmm. in a moment which can still give you shivers to this day. Is this when he said that the Berlin Wall was coming down or something like that? Bro, they were not messing with East Germany at all, bro. Like, they were not vibing with it, dog. That's crazy. I mean, I know why, but I didn't realize it was, like, to that extent. Like, it, it, people were literally trying to get out of there. Like, West Germany was thriving. It was almost like you can kind of compare it, and I know it sounds... It's going to sound crazy how I'm about what I'm about to say, but it's almost like if you look at North Korea and South Korea, like people from North Korea flee to South Korea all the time in the hopes that they won't get caught, of course, um, because the first off, the structure over there in North Korea is just like, oh, gross. And then like, you know, everything over there is just messed up. Everything's over there messed is messed up, but it's also a dictatorship. So it might be a bit different, but like, you know what I mean? Like it's just the, the the sheer fact that the way things were ran were way worse in one area than another. West Germany was popping. East Germany was not. North Korea is not popping. South Korea totally is. It's like first world country to North Korea being basically a third world country. So crazy, 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 man. Within hours, sealed buses and trains began carrying the refugees to West Germany. But rather than go there directly, Part of the deal was the brilliant idea that they must pass through East Germany. Honecker planned to use this as an opportunity to humiliate the traitors and make an example of them. What? Uh-uh. That's probably, if anything, that was pretty much a, a, a field trip to saying bye to the old and hello to the new. Like, it should you should be happy. I'm pretty sure they didn't care about that, bro. Like, yeah, you could be paraded through the city and scrutinized or whatever, but okay, you're about to go to a better place. Like, psh, that's what it looks like to me. But what actually happened was the refugees began throwing their torn up GDR papers out the window like confess. There you go. That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what, that's what I would have done. Shit. I'd be like, oh, oh, you let me go? Word. Bye. Rip, 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 rip. Ah, I'm gone, bro. Gone with the wind. And when the train stopped in Dresden, large crowds attempted to storm the station and jump on the trains, some of whom succeeded. So that went well. Hmm. With all borders closed, public protests and no sign of support or reform, Honecker was eventually ousted by his own party members who quickly attempted to rescue the situation by reopening the borders. But following the pattern of great decisions, this just takes us back to where we started with everyone going to Hungary. And by this point, it wasn't even summer. Schools and factories closed all over the country because everyone had left for the West, which wrecked the already struggling economy. Mm. And this continued for weeks until one final confused decision was made on November 9th. When government spokesperson Gunter Schabowski... Is this, is, is this when the, uh, the Berlin Wall thing happened? Because I heard that they were talking about opening up the, the border between uh, uh, Ger like East and West Germany. But the way it was said, it, there was like a miscommunication or something. And then everybody like pretty much ran with it and just knocked down the walls. And they're like, you know what? It is what it is. Allowed a note at a press conference. But this this might be something different, though. That East German citizens could apply for travel and emigration permissions to the West. Applications were only meant to be open from the next day, but Schabowski had missed the meeting where the details of the note were clarified. So when asked when this came into effect, he he said now. Das tritt nach meiner Kenntnis ist das sofort unverzüglich. 
Immediately. That's the best mistake he ever made, bro. Background that has to be decided by the council of ministers. Oh. Also, doch, doch. Aus und können, ja, Permanent exit can take place via all over border crossings from the GDR to the FRG and West Berlin, respectively. Immediately. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, there was no coming back from that one, man. Uh uh. That was the best mistake he could have made. Imagine if he actually went to the meeting, bro. That, that, that whole process would have been delayed. Everybody was like, Psh, say less. <laughs> Look at them all marching, dog. And within hours, crowds were gathering on both sides of the Berlin Wall with the border guards who didn't know what had been happening on the Oh, but, but the guard was like, what is going on, G? Ah, dude, crazy story. I did not even... Listen, it's so crazy to me how an event like that has such a grave impact on... Uh, on, on history it's like a, a critical i shouldn't say grave but critical impact on history like if that one incident did not happen and it was just a mistake that was made but it's a good mistake that was made then who would have i mean we would we probably germany will actually so the world is going to be the world but germany wouldn't be like where it is now Maybe it would be where it is now, but just in a different way. Maybe there could have been other policies, last minute policies put in place. Maybe that dude would have been the very same dude to recommend some wild stuff that they could have all voted on. But all because he missed a meeting, man. Listen, this is a lesson for y'all out there, man, in school. It's okay to skip class once or twice, you feel me? You might change history. Like, that's crazy, dude. News, because they'd been at work attempting to stall for time. Luckily, rather than things turning violent, one officer, Harold Yeager, disobeyed his orders and began letting the crowds through. See, that's what I'm telling you, man. It only takes one. It takes one. It's a wholesome story, man. It only takes one, man. It only takes one. Effectively opening the border and ending the crisis. Oh, man. And this was all over the, the this was on worldwide news, too, when this happened. Worldwide. Worldwide. The world's like, what's going on? And <laughs> Germany's like, thick. <laughs> At least the politicians. Everybody else is like, yes, finally. That was a beautiful video, man. What a beautiful video. This dude. J H E box Ehrman. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much the video. What do you guys think in the comments down below? Very, 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 very informative video. Loved it. And I love how it simplified everything in an understandable way that I could process. Because I remember learning about this in school. I didn't understand the gist of this at all. I did not understand the severity of how important the Berlin Wall uh, incident was until basically last year. So, um,. It's just based on how it was taught to us in schools, you know. They weren't, they didn't put an emphasis on it. So, uh, yeah, literally, I think they there was probably only like a paragraph amount of work that they showed us in school for that, which is insane. But anyways, uh, definitely enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below because your boy is on and popping every single day with another upload. Anyways, I love you guys, bitch, fade, Lord, Tage, Lee, boy, ciao. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter. We're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever okay it's simple just go ahead and do those little things we're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything and it really means a lot now i know you guys stumbled up across the channel and you're like what does this guy post like what kind of content does he post reactions vlogs pretty much whatever comes to my mind all right it's random content 
I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below. That's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.